Hi everybody, it's Tony Kocher. Um, I've been asked by a few of my patients uh, whether they should be having a steroid injection in the, uh, it's coronavirus time uh, and it's really been uh, quite a shock to the system. Everything has changed. Um, I've got a day off, that's a good thing. Um, but I've also got patients that are in pain uh, and, and need some help. That's not a good thing. What we know right now is that steroid injections help with pain. They are anti-inflammatory medications that are injected in my practice into a space in the shoulder or into a joint to settle down an inflammatory process. And that's a good thing. It will reduce pain quite quickly. It will relieve uh, swelling and inflammation and it will allow physiotherapy, activity modification or exercises to help. The problem is, is that steroid injections also suppress the immune response. We don't know how much and we don't know who's more susceptible and we know that even though an injection uh, in, uh, given to a joint is, uh, it isn't uh, sent all around the body, part of it is absorbed and sent around systemically. And that's where uh, our immune response can be affected. Therefore, if we were to get coronavirus and we had a, we'd had, recently had a steroid injection, the effect and the symptoms and the severity of that coronavirus might be much worse and that could be really serious. So the advice today, 18th of March 2020, is unless you have to have a steroid injection, you shouldn't have one. Sometimes we have to, I've got patients who are in agonizing terrible pain and they're fit and healthy and there are no other what we call comorbidities, so other medical problems that might make them more susceptible to those severe symptoms of coronavirus. Then otherwise you should have, you should not have an injection and you should try other methods. Now this is going to change, the advice is going to change as we don't know everything and the information coming in at us changes on a daily basis. So for example, two days ago, this advice wasn't, wasn't present. I wasn't given any guidance or steer on this. But thanks to the advice and the forums of the British uh, Society of Radiology, thanks to the hospitals I work at and, and the pharmacy um, uh, practitioners that I work with, their, their science is clear, their advice is clear. The most important thing is your safety, patient safety, and everyone and safety of everyone around them. So unless you need to have a steroid injection, you probably shouldn't. You should, if you have any concerns, you should speak to the uh, person giving you the injection. You should speak to your doctor, or please feel free to contact me via uh, social media uh, and, and DM me.